welcome to your daily writing habit episode number 402. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish your book or trying to let more people know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. I-N-K, like that stuff you write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published author. I really like the word author, apparently. (laughs) And those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. And once again, good morning, happy Sunday, as we do every week here on the show on Sundays. It is Sunday Story Time, where I read an excerpt from whether it's my own book, a client book, or a book that has had an impact on me in some way. And then I ask an action question for you that you can apply to your writing. And the book I've chosen today is Indistractable by Near Isle. N-I-R, and his last name is E-Y-A-L. He was also a guest here on the show last fall. Awesome, awesome guest here on the show. And when his book first came out, I think we aired my, my interview with Nier on his launch day in September of last year. So t- the excerpt from his book, Indistractable, this excerpt breaks down the word distraction. I'm always fascinated by the meanings of words and the roots and how they came to be, so hopefully you are too. So we're going to break down the word distraction itself. Imagine a line that represents the value of everything you do throughout your day. To the right, the actions are positive. To the left, they are negative. On the right side of the continuum is, quote-unquote, Traction, which comes from the Latin trahir, meaning to draw or pull. We can think of of traction as the actions that draw us towards what we want in life. On the left side is distraction, the opposite of traction. With the same Latin root, the word means drawing away of the mind. Distractions impede us from making progress towards the life we envisage. All behaviors, both traction and distraction, are prompted by triggers, whether internal or external. Internal triggers cue us from within. When we feel our belly growl, we look for a snack. When we're cold, we find a coat to warm up. And when we're sad, lonely, or stressed, we might might call a friend or loved one for support. External triggers, triggers on the other side, on the other hand, are cues in our environment that tell us what to do next, like the pings, dings, and rings that prompt us to check our email, answer a phone call, or open a news alert. External triggers can also take the form of other people, such as a coworker who stops by our desk. They can also be objects like a television set whose mere presence urges us to turn it on. Whether internal or external triggers prompt us, the resulting action is either aligned with our broader intention, parentheses, traction, or misaligned, parentheses, distraction. Traction helps us accomplish goals. Distraction leads us away from them. The challenge, of course, is that our world has always been full of things designed to distract us. Today, people find themselves attached to their mobile phones, but these are only the latest potential hindrances. A few decades ago, people complained about the brain-melting power of television. Before that, it was arcade games, the telephone, the pinball machine, comic books, and the radio. Even the written word was blamed for creating, quote-unquote, forgetfulness in the learners' souls, according to Socrates. Though some of these things seem dull in comparison to today's enticements, distractions are and always will be a fact of life. Today's distractions, however, feel different. More data transferred at faster speeds, enabling ubiquitous access to new content on our devices, means the world can be more distracting. If it's a distraction you seek, it's easier than ever to find. What is the cost of all this distraction? Well, in 1971, the psychologist Herbert A. Simon wrote, The wealth of information means a dearth of something else, a poverty of attention. Researchers tell us attention and focus are the raw materials of human creativity and flourishing. And I'm just going to repeat that line again. Researchers tell us attention and focus are the raw materials of human creativity and flourishing. 
In the age of increased automation, the most sought after jobs are those that require creative problem solving, novel solutions, and the kind of human ingenuity that comes from focusing deeply on the task at hand. And that has been an excerpt from the book Indistractable by Nir Eyal, N-I-R-E-Y-A-L. I'll drop a link in the show notes so you can get a copy of that book. Fantastic book and so informative, as you saw just, you heard, <laughs> just from that excerpt right there, so much history. And can you believe that books were considered the same as notifications on our smartphone today, back in the time of Socrates, that books were considered to be a distraction? So just really great history there. Really enjoyed that book. And the question I have for you, let's the very first line of that excerpt is going to trigger our question today where Nia wrote, imagine a line that represents the value of everything you do throughout your day. So a line right down the middle. To the right, the actions are positive. To the left, they're negative. So of course, I want you to draw that line. Make those two lists. And on the right side of the line, list your most productive habits. On the left side, your distracting ones. So like what he talks about traction, which is productive. Traction, you know, leading you towards your goals. Distraction, things that lead you away from your goals. So on the right side, your productive habits. On the left side, your distractions. And I'm not going to tell you specifically what to do with this list other than let's just start with awareness. Look at that list and look at how many things are drawing you towards your goals and then how many things are drawing you away from them. And of course, read Nier's book, Indistractable. <laughs> That's the other assignment here. And thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit, Sunday story time as always, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone who wants to do the same, I would love for you to let them know about this show or just post it on your social media and tag me. That would be awesome. Yourdailywritinghabit.com. Until tomorrow. Happy writing.